By 9 p.m., the sheriff was at our front door, and he said to us that it was time to evacuate. And I, perhaps naively, said to him, some of our sisters have retired, so could we wait till morning? And he looked at me and said, Sister, do you want me back here at 2 in the morning telling you that you must evacuate? So we gathered our things, and that evening we were on our way by 9 o'clock. Three went to Washugo, and the rest of us that night went to the Comfort Inn. The sheriff, the first responders, those who came to our door could not have been more helpful. They offered to take care of our goats. We were able to um, take the monstrance. We, turn, we um, obviously taking the Blessed Sacrament from our home, the sanctuary light was blown out. We do live as a community and the heartache was the separation. And the separation meant that rising in the morning it made it impossible and we were scattered around to gather for community prayer. I believe and I think we believe that God is in every event. And obviously God in his providence did not did not, does not cause the many heartaches that we see across the world. But he is there and I, I can't understand or fathom how people without faith could ever cope and find meaning in um, the tragedies that affect many people in many different ways.